What's the best job for someone who's given up? I don't expect to ever retire, I'm done with the 40-hour work week after decades of trying to make it fit for my life. I'm so burnt out from American work culture that I'm nothing but a cinder at this point. What is the least cumbersome way to afford my basic bills without caring about saving money? Call centers are a nightmare for my anxiety, food service is terrible because customers' bosses see you as less than human. What are the real options for someone saying fuck it, I want to do the least possible work to survive? My dream job is night shift library janitor. My happiest friend is a painter at a local university. Paints dorm rooms, hallways, classrooms. State job benefits retirement because he's been there for almost 20 years, he makes decent money. He gets a shit ton of paid days off. Dude has had it figured out for years. I once worked in the hotel laundry. It was so chill. I worked alone and just shifted wet and dry and folded all day. Lost weight, improved my muscle tone in my upper body and got to watch TV or listen to audiobooks, music and podcasts all shifts. I didn't really have to talk to anyone, but could interacting I wanted. It was totally mindless. Worked from 7-3. It was great. Parking lot attendant. Take the ticket, take the payment, send them on their way. Automation will probably kill this off soon if it hasn't already. I once read some guy's comment about how he never could keep a job, hated working, and was getting older. He found a job selling home improvements where he was given the leads and just had to follow through. He said he'd never made so much money with so little work before, and was enjoying a job for the first time. I think about that a lot. I hate humanity right now so Lighthouse Keeper really looks good. I had a friend that managed a self-storage unit. Small apartment with utilities paid was on site and included as part of compensation. One of my friends cleans offices at night. I think he's been there three five years now, listens to books all evening. His company in particular seems good, he gets to clock in when he leaves his house and gets paid for like eight hours whether it takes him eight or six. Most people in his career field apparently are addicts and stuff so just being there and doing your job is a lot for them. I think he makes over 20 hourly now. I'm right there with you. I'm closing in on 20 years in automotive repair and I just can't do it anymore. I'm just not sure what I can transition into. I'm closing in on 50 and vastly undereducated. Knew a guy who retired and then picked up a job relocating vehicles for enterprise. Seemed like a sweet gig, just drive places to drop off or pick up cars, sometimes it was a group driving out to pick up several cars. Then they got to have lunch together. Following because I'm dead inside and looking for a change in employment. We'll be checking back on this periodically. Definitely feeling very burnt out right now. I need a job change desperately but ATM I'm just sticking with what I've been doing because it seems like everything else sucks worse. My choice would be working at a hardware store. Not a big box retailer, but just a local hardware store. Sweep. Stock shelves. Help old ladies find light bulbs. I don't know if you like the outdoors or not, or if you have the flexibility to move around, but I always thought it would be great to be a fire tower lookout, or a groundskeeper. Seems to fit the criteria you listed here, plus it comes with free housing which translates to less bills. I highly recommend becoming a security guard somewhere riding a desk. It's easy work and the money is usually better than retail. Edit I've done this when between IT gigs. I wish I had an answer for this myself. I'm coming close to the point where homeless guy screaming at pigeons is starting to sound appealing. Night audit at a slow motel. Thank you for posting this. In a world where I never fit at work and am a total loner, I really needed to read this to know I'm not the only one. Honestly, I love my lunch lady job and it really the first time I've loved a job. Four five hours a day. Off when the kids aren't in school. There's a lot of chill jobs, but how? Many can pay the bills. Night shift security. 
At the right place you'll be making decent money to watch YouTube in your office. Most problems get fixed with using common sense and talking to people like a human. Mall security wasn't bad if you treat the teenagers like adults. Now I work security for a pot shop and if it gets serious you just call the cops. I've had to call the cops twice in four years. I work for a zoo. You can take a break and walk around and see the animals. Cemetery grounds crew. I work overnight in a gatehouse at a resort in Scottsdale, Arizona. Best job I've ever had. I get paid to watch TV and or read all night. There's a few minor tasks I have to do which take up maybe an hour of my night and very rarely every couple weeks maybe I will get a call from a guest that needs something but it's always minor shit. I had anxiety and depression for years that pretty much completely went away when I started working here. I plan on staying here indefinitely. Pet sitting. Around me, you can make $60 70 dog night. I can keep 5 dogs. All you do is care for the pets and send an occasional photo. It's an easy gig. If you don't have a place to keep pets in your home, you can house sit or watch pets in their own homes. It's not as lucrative because you can only do one family at a time, but you lower your own bills because you aren't home as much using the electric and such. Anything overnight. Security. Walking around doing nothing. Sitting in patrol car. Cleaning gym. Motel, hotel. I'm highly enjoying small repair business owner shoes, since no one asked, it is work, but I have no boss and no co-workers. S nice. I work as a school custodian. Fairly physical but not too many hassles. Decent pay, benefits and I'll have a pension. Union job so I don't have to worry about being replaced by the boss's new girlfriend, lol. If you like animals and don't mind getting dirty, I quit being a media specialist tech teacher and started working in a dog boarding and daycare facility. I only have to interact with four people max a day because I'm only in back of house and I get to learn about all kinds of dogs. It's physically demanding but mentally pretty chill. Wandering monk until you find a nice place deep in the woods. Then you can become a forest monk. I have a friend who got a job cutting grass for the city. He shows up, has a mandatory safety meeting, checks his email schedule and goes out by himself or with one two other people and just mows and weed eats. In the fall he collects leaves and does random landscape maintenance stuff in the winter. It pays okay, it's a government job so the healthcare and retirement are half decent, and he rarely has to talk to another human being for more than a few minutes at a time. I'm kind of jealous. U.S. Senate Worked for a cat supply shop for almost three years. Not much customers, I sleep most of the time during the day after I finished cleaning everything. Cats are cute and they love to snuggle. Customers come to get their cat food, they don't bother me too much. Gonna have an interview for a call center in a few hours. Data entry How about valet work? My partner makes decent money and with tips that works. Mostly work with younger guys but with little stress. The other thing that I've been looking for is some easy data entry from home or if you're good with computers Apple has the WFH job to help customers not typical call center environment. Have a friend that does reselling on eBay and that is surprisingly profitable. My favorite job was doing groundskeeping at my college. Everyone was chill, I got lots of sunshine and physical activity, and could usually just tune out with an audiobook and do something easy like mow lawns. Pay was not great though and doing that for a landscaping company would probably just stress me out. It was a unique job in the sense that there was no rush. Join the trade we are all dead inside it's fun. I work at a local pet food store and it is amazing. Slow traffic, people bring in their dogs, and if you get lucky some offer commissions depending on the brands they sell. Stock shelves, clean, chat. I'm the type of person who is really bad at bringing work home with me and this is the first job I've ever had where I literally do not think about it outside of the building. It's wonderful.